Thank you so, so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. An another Jew on the stage. Yeah. My name is Laurent, you know, and one of the first questions that people ask me when they meet me is, Laurent, what's your background? What's your ethnicity? And I'll tell you. I'm a Jewish French Moroccan. I'm a French Jew from Morocco, which is a Muslim country, which makes me an interesting person, but also a person of interest. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm French, I'm French, you know, and France is great, it's a great country, right? The food is great, I mean, you know, the culture, the architecture. Aside from the people, it's a fantastic country to visit, right? Yeah. But I, I love being French, you know, I love being French. Everybody loves Frenchmen, right? Do you like Frenchmen, right? You know, yeah. I mean, the only people that don't like Frenchmen are husbands for some reason, you know? But besides that, Frenchmen are loved. But I was also born in Morocco, like I said, I'm born in Morocco. And Morocco is a country in Africa, as you know. And I happen to be an American citizen, which technically makes me African-American, right? <laughs> the soccer kind, not the football kind, you know? So now, I'm a Jewish, French, Moroccan, African-American. I got in every college I applied to. Yeah. And I went into Montgomery College. Yeah, my, my parents were very proud of me. All right, Montgomery College. So I'm a personal trainer. I'm a personal trainer. Anybody uses a personal trainer over here? No, everybody's poor? Okay, it's okay. I see my services are not in high demand over here. So yes, I'm doing great. I'm a, I'm a personal trainer by day and, and stand-up comedian by night. So financially, I'm doing fantastic, you know? <laughs> now, I love being a personal trainer, you know? It seems like everybody's on a diet, you know? Uh, not here tonight, but everybody seems to be on a diet. You know, the paleo diet, intermittent fasting, you know, which all diets are based on how cavemen used to eat thousands of years ago. Do you know how cavemen died? From hunger. <laughs> Yeah. I love being a personal trainer, you know? I just feel there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to personal trainers. I just feel like people think, oh, all those trainers do all this, flex their muscles, they drink their protein shakes, they sleep with their clients. What else do I do? But I love being a personal trainer, you know, I love being a personal trainer. It, it, it made me like, you know, I got to do very interesting things. Like, I got to work at a swingers resort as a personal trainer. Yeah, yeah, it was fantastic. It was, it was called, it was in Cancun, Mexico. It was called Temptations. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna Google it when you go home, you know? By the way, uh, where are my swingers here tonight? It's okay, we're family, you can tell me, you can tell me, you know? I'm able to, I already spotted the swingers over here, so you can't lie to me, you know? By the way, if you're interested, the Andersons are having a little get together tonight after the show, so stick around, you know? 2501 Edson Lane, the Rock Now, I was incredible at working at a swingers resort. It's unbelievable, you know, but a lot of people think that's very easy to be a swinger, you know, especially men. They come to me and say, oh my God, I could definitely be a swinger. No, you can't. It is very hard to be a swinger, and I'll prove it to you. Turn to the person next to you. Go ahead, somebody you don't know. Now kiss him on the mouth. <laughs> very, very hard. So I'm glad you like my story about the Swingers Resort. Now I'm gonna talk about the joys of marriage after working at a Swingers Resort. <laughs> I'm married. A any married couples here tonight? Yeah. We got a few married couples over here? No, marriage is tough. Yo, marriage is tough. Yo, did you know that one in five men has a secret email address? Did you know that? I, I have no joke. I just wanted to share something with you for the couples to talk about in the car back home tonight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Marriage is tough, you know? And, and, and everybody's looking for love, you know? And I have a friend of mine, also looking for love, can't find love anywhere. An amazing person, the most incredible person you'll ever meet, 
bodybuilder, biceps up to here, you know, six foot five, you know, Vin Diesel bald, deep voice like Barry White, can't find love. And I told her, I said, listen, you know, you, those things take time. That takes some time. Very hard. <laughs> no, I, uh, I'm married, I married my, uh, my wife is a Latina. She's a Latina, but she, normally she's a Latina, she's a Jewish Latina. Yeah, you know how crazy that combination is? <laughs> That's like giving steroids to a grizzly bear, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Any else? Anybody else married to a Jewish Latina over here? Just me on a suicide mission here? <laughs> you know what's crazier talking to a bunch of strangers about your wife? It's actually having your wife in the room when you talk about her, you know? That's how I think. She's right there. You know, it's gonna be a very long trip back home tonight. No, I love my wife. I love my wife. Uh, you know, my wife once, you know, she took me to, uh, to Walmart the other day. I've never been to a Walmart before. It's incredible. That store is incredible. You guys like Walmart? Yeah. You could buy everything at Walmart, you know? Did you know that you also have a vasectomy at Walmart? Did you know that? Yeah, when I was there, there was a, there was a, a discount going on. It was half off, you know? Yeah. It was amazing. They even had a, they even have a dental clinic at the Walmart, inside the Walmart, where you could get your, a clean and, and whiten your tooth over there. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's okay, it takes time sometimes, you know. Which one? But the only thing that you can't find at Walmart, I'll tell you, it's health food. You know, healthy food, you can't find them. And a lot of those foods, they don't even know what it is. You know, I went to one of the clerks, a beautiful African-American woman, and I told her, I said, hey, where could I find quinoa? And she looked at me, she said, no, quinoa doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I knew, like, you know. <laughs> right, it's hard to find healthy food. <laughs> I love my wife, you know, she wants, uh, she wants us to buy a new car and we need a new car for the family. And she, she proposed a Fiat. You know that little Italian go-kart? You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, great car for the family, right? I mean, my wife is Latina, I'm from Morocco. Between both of us, we have 36 people living on the one roof, you know? It makes a lot of sense. But you know what I said to myself? I'm gonna keep an open mind. I'm gonna go for a test drive, I'm gonna test drive the car. So I took it out, and, and, and as soon as we entered the highway, the, another vehicle just zoomed by us. I mean, literally, all four wheels were off the ground. My wife is freaking out, she's yell yelling at me. Didn't you see that tractor trailer? I said, babe, that was no tractor trailer. That was either a Honda Civic or a scooter. <laughs> so at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm done with this car. It's not a safe car. I took a first exit out. I found the street. There was a bike rack. I parked the car. <laughs> and, I, and I turned to my wife, I'm like, we're not getting this car. You take this car, you put it back in your duffel bag. We're walking back to the dealership. <laughs> so we walked back to the dealership. And I take the car, I throw it on the showroom floor. I turn to the dealer guy, I'm like, we're not getting this car. Then I turn to my wife, she had the angriest look I have ever seen on my wife. She was so angry, her iPhone didn't even recognize official features anymore. That's how angry she was. But I, I put my foot down. I said, yo, I'm not gonna get this car, I'm not gonna buy the car. So I bought the car, but you know what's the craziest thing? was the craziest thing. She wanted to get the dual air climate system. You know what that is? That's when the, the driver and passenger get to control their own temperature. It's a $2,500 feature. And I took to one of like, babe, did you see the size of the car? Don't you see the air is gonna mix somehow? The car is so tiny, if you drop a bottle of water, everybody drowns, you know? And I like the temperature cold, she likes it hot. The cold air is gonna mix with the hot air. We're gonna have thunderstorms in this car. I love my wife, I love my wife. My wife is a very jealous woman, you know? The other night, the other night she woke up, smacked me across the chest, full blast. Why? Because she had a dream that I was making love to another woman. Some people are laughing, they know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. 
She even mentioned the name of that woman in her dream. Jane. Any Jane here tonight? Okay, good. So I automatically wake up and like, baby, baby, calm down, calm down. It's just a dream. Plus, that's not even her name. Thank you so much.